Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of Project Cross Zone 2. We are heading into chapter 20, where I think we're about to get shot into a giant evil tree, as far as I'm aware, so... Is everyone okay? Sheesh, this thing really isn't much more than a cannonball, is it? We only stopped when we ran into something. It's a miracle nobody was hurt! Well, our group in particular has lots of... cushioning. Not that I'm complaining, but isn't our group kinda unbalanced? It's mostly women. <laughs> you alright there, Nick? Not too much for you to handle. Just a little, uh... awkward. Like when you go to a concert on a whim, only to find yourself surrounded oh by screaming God, teenage comparison. girls. This situation was prompted by a certain individual, or individuals, who will remain nameless and who will be along shortly. I could probably guess, but I won't. Where are the others? Do we miss our landing point? Heat source and energy signature detected. They're on the other side of that wall. That wall? You mean that dead end over there? I've been here before. We can break through that wall. Hey Cosmos, when you say energy signature, are you talking about the gold chains? No, this signature is identical to the one we saw in the Magigen, the demonic dimension. Yes, this is a magic, the same as that which I felt when passing through the factory. Now that you mention it, I remember this feeling as well. So that's what's interfering with the dragon turtle. A phenomenon not unlike a summoning gate. We ought to seal it as soon as possible. Quiet, everyone. Something's coming. Son of a gunboat! It's... it's some starfish-looking things! Those are soldiers crafted by the great oak tree. I knew this tree was still alive. Come on, everyone. If it's the same as the last time, Everyone else should be just up ahead. Alright everyone, you know what to do! Punch Starfish for great justice! Got it. Let's get to the back and break down that wall. Well that's not too bad, let's go then. Hey, we fixed it! You're all right. It just keeps going. Good deal. Although, I'm not seeing the fracture or the other capsules. There's another wall here. Why don't I just scratch it down and get a nice claw sharpening while I'm at it? I still feel the magic energy of the fracture Valkyrie came through. Let's hurry. I can sense the evil here growing stronger. Sakura is right. Something's coming. There are a lot of bunnies in this game. <laughs> おびえているぴょんね。そうやって埋めていくと、
すこぶる面倒なことになりそうじゃ。All right, enough of this prattle. I never thought I'd get to see the great oak tree with my own eyes. A chance like this may never come again! <laughs> hmm. The rabbit's testimony suggests that the phantoms of Paris weren't the ones who revived this tree. Making the next most obvious candidate the gold chains and the fracture that lies beyond them. Usa! <laughs> Sounds like you're pretty well caught up! Guess I'd better hop to it, if I'm going to pound you all into submission and make you tell me what you know. Just try it, Stubtail! You think kitties aren't used to dealing with hairballs? We'll catch you and then we'll have Seal House break you! On it. Sir, Cheeky little girls! I'll show you who's boss! Who's Come for the rabbit type steam beast prelude. Oh, that thing again. Whoa, it, it really does look like a rabbit. Almost too much, really. The perfect steam beast for the magnificent Sizzo. It'll cut you all down with one leap of its proud legs. You can attack us as many times as you like, Monsieur Bunny. We'll just keep schooling you until it sticks. Off we go then! That is if I can get up here. What? They got me? A thousand curses on you, Plastic Combat Review! Zizou, tell us how you came back to life. How should I know? I'm so remarkable, I probably came back to life on my own! That's not very helpful. However! Now that I am back, I'm not leaving again until I've caused some serious damage! What do we have to deal with? Oh. What is that? Some kind of war pole? I knew it! It's a fracture! Here of all places! Is that what's sending out the energy pulse that's disabled our car? How are we supposed to seal it? Wait! Look over there! Ain't that another capsule? It is! Everyone, are you okay? Which team could it be? Chris's? Or the captain's? All right, hatch is safely detonated. Yeah, I thought we'd never get out. It was a regular sauna in there. Oh, hey, isn't it? It appears that Chris's team was able to escape on their own. Is everyone okay? We're fine, Miss Addy, but it looks like we have more pressing matters to deal with. Yeah, enemies all over. And what's that magic portal thing over there? It looks familiar somehow. It's a fracture. A gate that connects different worlds, like what Valkyrie used. It's definitely putting out some considerable magic. Could that be what's interfering with the car? Good instincts. You're probably right. We'll need to either break it or seal it away somehow. Before that, though, no one's seen the third capsule? Yeah, we're still missing some people. Where could they be? What? Who? Was that Vacheron and Majima? They sounded like they were in trouble. Where? 
Where are you folks? The voices came from over there. It's the last capsule, buried in the tree. The revolver cannon has demonstrated extraordinary accuracy. We've all landed extremely close to each other. Looks like it might have been a little too strong, though. They're trapped. They're caught up in the tree roots. We've got to cut them out. Hold it! Someone's coming! Huh? The fighting started already? It's those two. As if a rabbit were enough, it's E-I-E-I-O-MA themselves! What are you two farm freaks doing here? Shut up, fox girl! Tell us how you got here! Just climbing up here practically killed us! We flew here in a cannonball, basically! I knew it! You cheaters took the easy way out! That was nothing- there was nothing easy about it! I thought we were all gonna die! This very outraged us. Oh no, what the hell? <laughs> this very outraged us. I make the large sweat. Ugh. Wow, I need much bath. Gross! We demand salary up. You treat working lady nice or we make the lawsuit desk. Shut your stinking yaps! Come on, we got more work to do up here. Holy shit, they learned from Sheath. We gotta clear out Fox Chick and her annoying friends, then secure the gate up ahead. So Oma's after this gate too. He said more work. Does that mean they've already collected the gold chains? Oh yes, we collect the back your ex, but it took too mu the but it took the too much long time. So you got there ahead of us after all, huh? But I'm afraid we're not handing this gate over to you. Also, we're going I, to I, seal I... it off. <laughs> oh yeah, just try it. <laughs> we'll hold them off. Chris, you and the others rescue the people in that capsule. Got it. We'll head toward the capsule, eliminating any hostiles we encounter along the way. What about that fracture? Shouldn't we do something about it? There's nothing we can do right this moment. Just stay alert. More trouble. Wait a minute. I just knew something was gonna spawn here. What are those things? They look like zombies. No, these are called Risen. You know them, Valkyrie? I saw them in the world that was connected to Marvel Land. Grotesque monstrosities that should not exist. So you're saying this place is connected to yet another world? And it looks like the power flowing in from that world isn't the benevolent kind. I knew it. We need to make sure it's sealed away forever. The magic is expanding even further. Something else is coming. Oh, was that me? My bad. Oh no, this guy's back. And he brought... Oh, he brought lots of friends. Oh, where am I? This is where I was supposed to go. W what is that thing? Another monster? Demon Camus. The warrior maiden Valkyrie? What are you doing here? Hey, you're the one that showed up out of nowhere, bucko. <gasps> A new monster has appeared on the scene with clear intent to do evil. How does he know Valkyrie? This creature is Kamuz, a demon once defeated in Marvel Land. Evil French bunnies! Uma's talking livestock and now a demon? Way to challenge the non-human stereotypes, guys! Kamuz, was it? So you're the one who opened that gate in this tree. Don't take that tone with me, whelp! I'm just here in search of something! And what might that something be? 
That which can grant any wish. So you're after the golden seed once more, Camus. The golden seed? Sounds like a rare item, though I don't know how you'd equip it. You're not far off, Aseo. But it's not a virtual treasure in an RPG. It's a real one. I was supposed to go straight to the seed, because I haven't got the hang of this dumb gate yet. You've been troubling the people of the Hellenum of Yeast once again, haven't you? Ha! Huh, like I give one rat dropping what happens to them. Nothing matters so long as I get the power I crave. However, Valkyrie, I think I will go to the, bro the bother of exterminating you vermin before I proceed. Well, we're gonna seal up that gate one way or another. If your stink ass gets in the way, we'll just seal you up too. I'll cut him down. Any objections, Valkyrie? No, he must be dealt with immediately. Prepare yourself, Camus! If you think your maggoty friends can stop me, you've got enough- Oh my god, is that Majima being dramatic? Oh my god! Vacheron? Hey! Vacheron! Oh, you've got some friends here! Huh. They're trapped inside that steel coffin, eh? Exquisite! Maybe I'll start by roasting them alive! Fire! Fire! There's a growing flicker of flame coming from the shield the demon carries. What is this chapter? No! We'll never make it! We got help! It's okay! Oh god. Who are these people? Medieval knights? Crumb? Lucina? Valkyrie seems to know them. Are they denizens of Marvel Land then? Are they denizens of Marvel Land then? No, these two come from another world, one close to Marvelland, but not of it. This is Krom, king of the Hellidom of Yeast, and his daughter, Lushina. A freaking king? And what the hell is a Hellidom? You made that up, didn't you? At least the clothes look normal enough to us fantasy gamers. Can we trust them? They don't look all that bad. Did you say she's his daughter? Are you sure that's a... Uh... こしゅ。大丈夫です。武器をな。でも、いい人との that should be sufficient for them to make their escape. Hey, is everyone all right? Were there casualties? We heard Vacheron earlier. He sounded like he was in severe pain. What's the extent of everyone's injuries? Oh no, were we too late? Oh. oh. It's a car full of men. I get it now. Vacheron, are you guys okay? Hell no, we're not. Do you have any idea what I went through in there? Huh? But... Nobody seems to be injured. Did something strange happen while we're in there, Vacheron? I mean, it's true we weren't able to open our capsule from the inside. Truth be told, our greatest foe was the boredom. 
<laughs> we couldn't even stand and stretch, so there's that, I guess. And it was kinda annoying, just sitting around waiting to be rescued. <clears throat> Nothing to get worked up about. Maybe not, but it got awfully hot and stuffy in there. And we was all packed in there like sardines, man. It sucked. The man sweat. I can still smell it. Ugh. All I wanted was some luscious ripe cantaloupes to squish up against. Soft, rolling fields of fertile soil waiting to be tilled by my oh capable hands. Oh my god, hands. somebody please slap Vacheron. Holy shit. <laughs> Is this rated T or M? Yeah, thought so. Looks like my countermeasures were plenty justified. Aha, so that's why we packed one of those things full of men. There, but for the grace of God. What? You're saying you stuffed us all in there because of Vacheron? I don't even want to think about what the heat did to my leather jacket. Why? Why me? I don't understand. Our rescue succeeded, but the rescuees almost seem displeased with us. You are allies of Valkyrie, are you not? <clears throat> Sorry for the trouble. We are most definitely your allies. And you're the ones who saved us, correct? Thanks a bunch. Did we hear you right? You guys are royalty from another world? Indeed. My name is Krom. I have come here from the Haladom of Elise. And I'm Lucina, Krom's, uh, future daughter. Sounds complicated. And I assume that creature over there is the one behind our latest set of problems? Ugh, you filthy roaches had to go and multiply! Huh. Four arms. I'll admit I hadn't guessed that part from the voice. And behind him! That must be the warp hole! Certainly, it's emitting powerful energy. Now we can battle without fear. You dare discount my power, shameless worms! Demon Camus, so long as you seek to use the fracture for evil ends, we will ensure that your schemes come to naught. Your reign of terror is over! No golden seed, a swarm of disease rats nipping at my heels. Ugh, this could hardly have gone worse. We will defeat you and seal the fracture forevermore. Never shall it fall into your twisted hands again. Enough! It's time to end this. And you! King Krom, Princess Lucina, may we request your assistance in dealing with this situation? Please, just Krom and Lucina. If anything, we are the ones who would appreciate your help, my otherworldly friend. We must close the fracture and defeat the demon. What contemptible nonsense! Your wretched fate is already sealed! Writhe, worms! We will forge our own destiny. It is not your choice to make, Demon Camus. The power of fate! How long did it took before I got to this title chapter? <laughs> Goodness. Alright. Now we can just focus on killing things, right? Awesome. Wait, no. took all my energy! Oh, worn out from the great zoo race, huh? Maybe creature racing just isn't for you! Huh? What do you mean, creature racing? I ain't no creature! 
Hold on, you're the ones who took the easy way up here. You're still hung up on that? Girls don't like their cowboys all whiny, I'll have you know. Hey, my time will come. I'm just waiting for a nice girl of marriage of bull age. Oh my god, what is this text? But I can already tell I won't find any good wife material here. I know we're dodging a bullet here, but I still feel kinda insulted. Anyway, that's it! I'm out of here! You can go, man! Them crits! So good! Damn! Tenacious little weevils, aren't you? Grow all the arms you want. We still outnumber you. Guess this wasn't your lucky day, monster! This is it, Camus, once and for all! You don't belong here. You never did. In that case, then, I'll go back to where I came from. I promise you'll pay for this humiliation, Valkyrie. Huh? The heck's that crazy dude thinking? He just jumped back in the way he came. Something feels wrong. The gate's power is breaking up. Impossible. How can the fracture be gone? The demon forced it to activate unnaturally. It would seem the shock was enough to destabilize it. At least the gate is closed. But that means our allies who came through it are stranded. Indeed. I fear we can no longer return home. Don't worry, Princess. First we secure the premises, then we can talk about getting you home. <laughs> I thought maybe you could smash Shinra for good here, but I guess it wasn't meant to be. Of course, did you really think we'd fall that easily? Still, I did what I came here for. That's good enough for now. The gold chains, you mean? Yep, got every last one of them. Finding you lot was just a bonus. Gold egg! A bonus? We're laying our lives on the line here! I better go report what went down in this tree. Time to hoof it on out of here. Oh my. If nothing else, they've still got guts. Gage cleared! Holy crap. So, this is not the only place that fractures have appeared. If nothing else, Valkyrie made use of a different one in the demonic dimension. As their name implies, they are fractures in time and space, allowing travel across both. I used one to venture back in time from a hopeless future in order to change history. Time travel gates, huh? 
And now they're even linking different worlds together. Krom, why don't you come with us? I swear we'll find a way to return you to your people. If we return to the demonic dimension, I bet we can make use of the fracture there. But now might not be the time. We must see this battle through to the end. Clearly, the war spans far beyond our world alone. Indeed, I would have asked to journey with you regardless of your offer. I am sure my sword may prove useful. Are you in accord, Lucina? Yes, father. This too is part of our destiny. Gosh, Jin, those two make a strong family unit, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> Touching, yes! <laughs> those three will never get along. Okay, now that we've had some heartwarming and not-so-heartwarming moments, the question remains, what now? They may have gotten to the gold chains ahead of us, but at least we accomplished the minimum of what we set out to do. Yeah! Now that the freaky gate's gone, our transport should be functional again. We should find a way down and then... What the? An earthquake? Nearby energy signatures are disappearing rapidly. I wonder, you think maybe this tree was drawing its energy from the golden chains and the and that gate thing? And with both of those gone, it's starting to come apart. Guys, I think we better hurry it up and scram. Alright, here's the plan. Everyone jump, then use a Tatsumaki Senpu Kyaku to- Ryo, Ryo, no, no, not everyone can do that! Hey Granny, isn't our airship car thing working now? Call for help, quick. I'll have you know, I'm still in my prime of my youth, Sonny, but roger that! Urashima, hey, listen! Hey, hey, listen, hey! Yes, yes, I'm already on my way, and I told you, call me doctor. I'll head for the holes the capsule's made in the tree. Meet up with me there. In that case, we better not waste any time. Come on, you whippersnappers, run! I think our capsule left the biggest hole. Let's move out. Everyone on? Don't worry, I took roll call. Please get us out of here, Doctor. Ah, uh, yeah, about that. Things are looking a bit iffy right now, escape-wise. Um, could you clarify, Iffy? The collapse of the Great Oak Tree is triggering a rapid spatial distortion in the vicinity. Wait, you mean it's forming a rift? Afraid so. I'd suggest we get out of here, but... But what? If that's the case, why aren't we moving? Because we're too late. Huh? Oh, well... Okay, we, we're just gonna go ahead and teleport and just leave it at that. What a cliffhanger! Alright then, I guess we'll find out where they got landed on in the next chapter. In the next video. See you guys then. This situation was prompted by a certain individual or individuals who will remain nameless and who will be along shortly. What the fuck? Have you ever heard of a comma? Or like, fuck, I mean, I'll take like dashes between the sentences. I mean, come on, who, who can speak, who talks like that? Who talks like that? Come on. The perfect steam beast for the magnificent Cizzo. I'll cut you all down with one leap of its... My proud legs! Yes, as you can see, while I've been dead, I didn't skip leg day. I've been working out. They are very ripped, if I do say so myself. You you are free to inspect, if you'd like. While I pound you into submission! <laughs> I'm having way too much fun with this.